Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another tutorial in web methods <coughs> and in this tutorial we are going to look at a very cool feature called as email which is kind of a mandatory thing. Now to work with the email the one thing that you need to be aware of is that see this is the service that I am going to use SMTP ok. Now uh, with the help of this SMTP now with the help of this SMTP, we are going to send some emails. We have to fill a lot of things here. Okay, a lot of things are there to fill in. But to start with, you know what? The first to start with, let me open the localhost 5555. Login. And I have set these parameters in the extended settings. Make sure that it's set in a similar way. SMTP. See, these are the parameters that I've set. I've set SSL enable to true. I've set SSM SMTP use JSSE to true. And this I have not set it because I did not want to take anything by default. Okay. <coughs> I have not set anything, any of those these parameters by default. Anyways, this there's no security involved, it's just a POC, so it's fine. Okay, so these two values have set it and restart. This is, anyways, restart is not required because there is no indication of restart. Okay, but still, I would prefer to have a restart done. <coughs> okay, now let's go to this SMTP which is under WM public client SMTP. What we are going to do is that right click run as service now so many things are given here okay <clears throat> but before that let's understand each one of them so to to whom i need i'm going to send this is my one of the temporary email that i don't use it i just created for the purpose of showcasing it which is nothing but this yandex okay i've just created this email okay uh, account this to this is what i'm going to send subject is i'll say from web methods from web methods 10.11 to yandex inbox yandex inbox okay uh, from see now here is the part here is the most difficult part when you are saying from there are certain attributes that gets associated with it now here <coughs> I have my own website. Okay, um, uh, this is my website, and uh, uh, just in case, okay. Right, so this is a website of mine. Okay, I, where I kind of blog certain articles, and uh, yeah, those who are interested can look into it. But uh, again, it's not a promotion site, but this is a website of my own, and those of them who kind of subscribe or uh, ask a query obviously i need to have an inbox so what i've done i've set an inbox specific for this mathematics through certain mail providers right okay and i've hosted my website with the help of godaddy and hosting a lot of combinations i've done now what happens is that when you set up an email account you get something like this see i have used hostinger as one of the medium okay and here you have see imap an outgoing email and this is what we are going to target because I'll tell you why and then an incoming an incoming server which is of P of P. Now each of this host name have an associated port number and uh, it has SSL or TLS enabled and that's the reason I have used use SSL as true. Clear? So this is what I'm going to provide in my designer. So let me open up here and bring this guy over here. Okay, pretty good. Uh, all these things are good to know. Okay, see here. Um, mm -mm. Let's minimize a bit more. There you go. That's better. See here. Mail host. This is nothing but this. Mail port. This is nothing but this. Okay, and then what type of 
what type of connection that you have i am using basic authentication with the help of username and password this is my username and password is this and i am using implicit which means please work with this username and password explicitly you are, you are working on this okay you are saying that it's an not implicit explicit yeah Im all right so transport layer security is setting the value is implicit let us see what it means okay let us see what it means uh, web methods smtp SMT, smtp uh, implicit um let us see what does smtp implicit means so that we'll know what we're dealing with okay <coughs> here it's uh, implicit okay see when you say implicit implicit use implicit security uh, security when communicating with the ports on the smtp server with the implicit security integration server always always establishes an encrypted connection to the email server if you say explicit when explicit security integration server establishes an encrypted connection so i want to have an encrypted connection that's the reason i'm saying implicit use implicit now see what ideally happens is that this is my index email okay this is my index and this is my mathomathis email okay mathomathis email mathomathis so what what i am trying to establish is that from mathomathis i am going to send an email to yandex just like say for example from gmail you are sending to yahoo email or from yahoo email you are sending to gmail something like this in a similar way from mathomathis i am sending it to yandex if i am sending from mathomathis to yandex okay from mathomathis to yandex which means that i need to know the username and password for this this is what i provided here and these are the host name and port just like that okay just like that how you have sftp servers ftp you provide the username and password and all those stuff right something similar to that now once that is completed <coughs> in the body i'm going to say that hello web methods to yandex and i will send okay see if everything is successful obviously you will get this mail was sent successful if not either it will be keep on rolling over here see it will keep on rolling over here or it will just time out okay so every connection should be perfect let's go back to this guy refresh it see here contact mathematics see it's like from mathematics from mathematics i'm sending this see hello web methods see web methods so that's how you send an email so make sure that you get the right set of details from your admin team or anyone who is working on the email ports and you can work that out so that's about the email yeah uh, let's see what else we can learn in the next tutorial thank you